members of members of Bahrain, Kuwait, Egypt, and Iraq. Anybody in the floor from Egypt or Iraq? Any treasurer who's attending? Yes, Nisreen. I am Nisreen Rizat from Thank Egypt, from, Kai, uh, from Alexandria Toastmaster. Oh, great. Thank you so much for uh, being, uh, being with us here because I know that uh, it's a new country which has joined just last year, but we yes. would uh, like to welcome you to this treasurer's role especially and welcome to all the members of Kuwait and Iraq and uh, my second home, Bahrain. Now, before I introduce myself, I just would like to know, there are some members here who have already taken up the role of the treasurer. For you, it will be a recap. And I'm sure your experience, you will, when you share it with us, it will help us. And for all those who are new to this role, I would suggest please stay on with us because a lot of experience and a lot of exchange of ideas will be here. To introduce myself, I am Subhashri. I've joined the Toastmasters in 2015, and then I took up many leadership roles initially until I got into the drive of being in contest. Then I uh, represented area and division also, and, it, and district as well, in some of the contests which I had taken part. Professionally, I'm a chartered accountant and a management accountant of 23 plus years experience, and I worked with companies like ITC, Ernst & Young, PwC. But being in Toastmasters and working for a nonprofit organization and dealing with their accounts is slightly different from the ones which you deal with your normal corporate world. Just to again reiterate, please keep yourself on mute in case we have questions to ask, please do at that point of time, do ask. We will try to keep this uh, full program interactive and I'll try to finish the presentation quickly so that we can interact more. Let me tell you, this whole presentation is available on the TI website. But I have added a few slides which are not on the TI website. This is from my personal experience and especially for the newcomers, I think it would be helpful because I felt if I was a newcomer, this would help me on being a treasurer in your club. Okay, I've covered all this. Now, let me share my presentation. So that will start right away with it. Okay. Okay, today, what all we'll be covering in this presentation? We'll be covering the three R's. Our district director spoke about three C's, commitment, consistency, and care. But we will also see how to bring in those three into this particular role of a treasurer with the role and responsibilities and resources. The session objective is the same. At the end of the session, you will know what exactly your role is. How do you fulfill your responsibilities? And there will be a lot of resources from which you can draw a lot of information. To. Now, as a treasurer, you must remember that your role is being a part of the executive committee, you are the chief accountant of your club, which means your role will have to do with you dealing with money and accounting for it properly and ensuring that the club's funds are handled properly. For this, to fulfill this role, what are the responsibilities that you will be taking up? Let's see how the treasurer responsibilities goes across the meetings inside the club, outside the club, during the club meetings, and what is your role within the executive committee. Now, let us see at the club level, before the club meetings, what you would do, and during the club meetings, what you would do. Before the club meetings, you will have to prepare a financial report. Now, you will be asking, what is a financial report? Because it's at a high end, uh, fancy word that is being used. But I will come to the format, which I have done on my own. This is not TI specified, which means you can change the format. We'll, we will get to see how a report will look like for a club. It's very simple at a club level. 
it's simple receipts what you have minus the expenses that you give and then what is the balance of cash that you have. Now, during the club meetings, you are required to give a report to the club and the club report will, you will have to tell the club how many members have paid, how many members have not paid the membership and how much cash balance. Are you in a positive position to meet the expenses of the club? They will again come back to the different expenses that the club will have during the course of your term. Now, outside the club meeting, which means it is your role does not mean that only during the club meetings you work, but there'll be a lot of things that you may have to do outside. It is not daunting. It is very simple. It's part and parcel of your executive, executive committee role that you're doing. It is very simple, but it keeps on, keep on telling you, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that. First thing is you have to prepare a budget for the club. Now, what does a budget, what are the things that are included in a budget? We will come to it in detail, but just to give an idea. Budget will have two components. What is it that you're getting in and what is it that you're paying out? Anybody can tell me what is it that, uh, what is your receipt? What is it that you as a treasurer will be collecting from the members? Membership, membership fees. fees. Membership, membership fees, excellent. That'll be the first thing that you'll be collecting. I want you to differentiate between the membership fees that you collect and the amount that you pay to the TI. To the TI, you're only going to pay on a six months term, you're going to pay only $45. But what you may be collecting from the members is can be a little bit more. Can you tell me why would it be more? I think uh, somebody already mentioned it during our first three workshop presentations. Why is it that it could be a little bit more than the amount that we pay to the TI? For a new member, you have to collect more. To meet the club expenses. Excellent. We'll come to the breakup of the club expenses. So it's it's very simple. We will come to the format, which, which will make it easier for you, which means you collect. And one of the major, major things that you have to uh, do is you are responsible to ensure that you collect the amount and pay the amount to the TI. This is something where submit new member applications. I think this you have to work very closely with VP membership. Typically, you can ask them to start the application till the, till the point they reach to pay. And then you can take over and pay the application for the member. And then you can go ahead to submit for new member applications. You have for this, you all will buy, to, buy, I think by now you all should be having access to the club central on the TI website. Please go log in so that you will see everything under the club central where you'll be able to see your club roster and you'll also see how to pay for the new members. Then reconcile deposits, expenditure. This is usually the amount that you receive and the amount that you're spent and what is there on cash. This is part of your role that comes very interesting. And this will actually mean that you're keeping proper financial records. Now, what do you mean by proper financial records? See, when you collect money, sometimes the club has a policy of giving receipts to the members, which that becomes a financial record. Say for instance, you are paying for hotel expenses, you're paying for Zoom subscription. When you pay and give it as a expense out, that becomes your financial record. For instance, you have paid for the Zoom subscription. That is your financial record. So just remember that, that those all you need to ensure that you keep track of them. Now this is, uh, I'm not sure how many clubs in uh, clubs have a bank account because I know in Bahrain, it's not easy to open a club ba uh, uh, bank account for a Toastmasters club. And I think there's the same across the other countries, other three countries also. In case you do have, you have to provide them with a bank signatory card. I think there are only three clubs. Any, any treasurer here who knows that you are having a bank account? Nobody has a bank account. I no. know at least three clubs in Bahrain has. Probably they're not, not that I'm sure of. Sorry? No, actually, we don't. Yeah. We, we don't have part of the rich club request. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you have a bank, obviously you will issue checks. 
Otherwise, we can skip the saying that you will have to present financial reports. Financial reports will be on par with how you do the budget. We will come to that format. Now, in case you your club decides that you want to get your accounting audited, there is usually, now the question is you want another person or somebody from your club itself just to check whether everything was accounted for correctly, you can have, you can appoint an auditor. And another important rule, uh, responsibility is you have to attend executive committee meetings so that as a part of the team that actually plans for the club success plan, you play a very important role because you are the one who's doing the budget and controlling the finances of the club. Now, this is a very interesting thing. Membership dues. I would want people to tell me when does it become due and how much do you pay? Anybody? When does it become After due? After every six months. Yeah, but when, when? Give me the date. September. Um, March and September. March, March and September. And Correct. Uh, March and August. 30th September and 31st of uh, March. So when you pay on 30th September, what are you paying for? How much do you pay? You know that I already told you have to pay. $45. $45 for the next six months. But yes, you're paying for the next six months, which means when you yes. pay on 30th September, you are paying for the period. Let, let's assume this is September 2022. You pay by 30th September 2022 for the period. 1st October 2022 to 31st March 2023. And when you pay the amount in March, by 31st March, you are paying in advance for the next six months. That is from 1st April 2023 to 30th September 2023. Now tell me, why do you think it's important you pay? Why do you think it is important that, that you pay in time? You have to maintain minimum membership. Yeah, minimum is how many members do you think your club should be to pay? Eight to members, be and we have to make 20, 20, right? 20 members. 20? Yeah, eight members for minimum. Good to pay. For good standing. Eight members we have to pay for right. keep club You're good right. standing. You're right. You have to pay minimum for eight members for the club being good standing. Um, somebody An has office three are renewing, please. right? Mute yourself, please. An office I three should be renewing members, members right? I, I, yeah, if, if you can mute yourself, somebody has still unmuted because I can hear. Yes, somebody asked me a question. I cannot get you. Yeah, out of the eight members, the three members should be renewing members, right? Yes, you're right. right. Perfectly. And why should you pay it? One, any one reason you give me why you should pay for eight members, what will happen to the club otherwise? There is club, club, will not, club will not be in good standing. You will not get your DCP point, but obviously, which means after some, see, previously what used to happen is TI used to keep it open uh, for six months or one year for you to go and pay the fees. But I think now they, if you don't pay by within a month, after say, if it is 30th September, by 31st October, you don't pay, your name disappears from the list of members. So you have to pay one to be in good standing of your, for your club say. And another thing is, if any of you is participating in a contest, the contestant will have a problem if you don't pay in time. Your club must be in good standing for the member to represent you, your club. So please ensure that this is very important, but sometimes we forget, please ensure that if you have a contestant at the area level or at the division level and your club is not in good standing, then it's a problem. So the member can simply come back and say, oh, I paid to the treasurer, but the treasurer did not pay directly to the TI. So please ensure that you, when do you think the drive to pay starts? Any idea? When does TI or sorry? Oh, August. Please, August you start a month before. Yes, you're right. Uh, August. Around One 15th month. August, 15th August, and uh, 15th of uh, February. I think maybe they start on 14th of Feb. 
to remind us all to pay. See, there will be a reminder from the district and from the division, I'm sure even from the area just to pay, pay, pay. But, but as a treasurer, I would suggest that you take the initiative to tell your people. You can ask your DPPR to do a flyer and then circulate it around saying uh, that as, uh, yes, uh, Toastmaster Farooq, you have a question? Yes, no, just a comment here. Now yeah. with the new ERP system, you can pay in advance also a month in advance. So the renewal cycle for the next phase open right away after you pay. Yes, that's a, that's a good point because I this was not available before. I think now with this new this thing, I think they might come up. That's a good uh, point. Thanks a lot for the one. One more comment, Osman uh, Yeah. Yeah. Now regarding the point that you raised uh, regarding the uh, the contest. Yeah. These issues come uh, also every year. Uh, yeah. the, the treasurer have to uh, make sure that he pay the right period of time. Now, we, we have some members who are joining the club uh, and they pay their fees uh, in March. He will count from 1st April to pay for them. And, oh, this will, yes. uh, yeah, and this will bring the club to be act, uh, uh, active club from April. So in March, if they are contesting in March, that means it will not be active at that moment. So they, they cannot be, yeah, cannot, okay. they cannot, yeah. So Thanks, thanks, uh, DTM Mona. I think that's a very valid point um, that in case you think that usually, the, let's assume that the division contest is in March, happening in uh, March, but you have a member whom you have renewed from April. Even if the club is not um, is not in good standing, then it will be a problem. And if you have not paid for the member by mistake, then also again it's a problem. So please ensure that this is these are sorted out because we, you'll be embarrassing yourself and the and your team as well. Okay, now how much do you pay? This I think we already discussed that we'll be paying forty five dollars per six months. Again, I tell you this is not the exact club fees that you will be collecting. This is around BD 18. This is around Kuwaiti dinars 15. I think Egyptian pounds is 850 and Iraqi dinars is 65,000. Oh my God. So, and if, if a member is joining newly, it will be $20. And if your question is, say for instance, a member joins in December, TI collects only for four months. There is no, it is not necessary. So whenever you're registering from that month, it gets collected. So please ensure and agree with the member when you're uh, starting their term. So that's a, that'll be a good uh, thing. Now let's see, let's continue what exactly we are. I'm just gonna skip these because see, in the Middle East, we do not have taxes on this, but we still need to ensure that we are still continuing to be the nonprofit organization. The reason being, we follow the TI and TI is uh, registered under the Californian laws to be a nonprofit organization. So we have to, at least Bahrain doesn't have that. I, I'm not too sure about, um, I think Egyptian, uh, Egypt and Iraq, they do have personal taxes, but might not be uh, for the nonprofit uh, organization. Uh, Toastmaster Semen, you have a question? Yes, uh, what is the new member plus do you mean? Sorry? New member plus. New mem uh, yes. Say for instance, uh, and just go back, a person who's renewing, say you are a continuing member, then you pay only $45. A uh, yeah. You have got a new member who's joined your uh, club for the first time. Okay. okay for the first time, I think, um, Mr. Pro uh, your uh, 30 minutes, at least it's not 30 minutes since we've started, but we will just share the link in a few minutes. Um, say for instance, a, a member has joined newly, but he's not a dual member. Okay, say if it's a dual okay. member, maybe they would say, okay, I don't want to ch choose a path, so it's still fine. But otherwise, a person who's joining Toastmasters for the first time, first, first time, okay? okay. Then you yeah. have to pay $20 more to set up their uh, system and all. Not that for means uh, $65. Yes, $65 in case the person joins in either they start their date on the 1st of October or on the 1st of April. Okay, because that's what about, the, what about the member who joined on July or June 
then his membership will be valid the further six months or they will no no the on. ti collects only proportionately okay oh. for 45 dollars for six months for five months they collect 37.5 for uh, four months it comes down okay, okay. yes that I means have for another... one more Sorry? doubt yeah for every member you have to pay 20 dollars no no every for new every member? new member only not uh, for every member see just remember you have to collect if if you already have say 15 members in your club you collect 45 dollars only from them to pay the ti okay but if you are say a member is joining newly he's never been in toastmasters for them you have to add this 20 dollars also to collect and pay to the ti now another thing i want you all to remember very clearly is this 45 dollars is what you pay to the ti it might not be the fees which you are collecting for, for the club uh, uh, fees because and I'll just give you an example. $45 roughly works out to 18 dinars per six months. But your, which means per month, it will work out to three dinars. But I'm sure your club must be collecting a little bit more because you are you might actually get into doing a physical meeting where because you will need expenses to pay for the uh, meeting expenses. Maybe you are paying for the refreshments, then you may have to buy trophies. Then may want to print certificates. There are other expenses also. For that, the club is allowed to collect a little bit more, but it should not be unreasonable because we all should remember that we are non-profit making organization. Okay. Okay. This is just a regulation. I'll come to, I know that some of them have raised their hands. We'll just finish this part and then I'll come to the other thing. You see financial correspondence. It might be in case you get any financial bank statement and all, but at least if you do not have bank statements, this might not be a problem. And you will have to, in case you have, uh, you in, you want your club to have an audit, you may have to prepare for the audit committee and how what you submit to the audit committee. Now, as a member of the executive club, okay, executive committee, you have to prepare the budget, which is basically the same thing that we already discussed. And you have to present your financial reports, which we will come to. I'll just show you a format. And of course, this is the same thing in case you want to do an audit, you will have to uh, submit it for the audit. And you, the, one of the most important things that as a treasurer you have to do is you have to be involved in the club success plan. I hope that you saw the workshop where, how do you get the members? How much, how, how does your club plan to achieve the DCP points? That is where you have to be involved as part of the executive uh, committee. Now, this is where I, this, this is not available on the TIA website. So this is my own format, which I've come up with. Let's see, your, your previous executive committee member gives you something uh, little, he, they will give, they'll have some amount and they'll pass it on to you, okay? The reason why they might be having amount at their end is they collected money, but you didn't have any physical meetings. They might have actually done some YLP where they had a little bit of small amount with them. There could be various reasons, but it cannot be a huge amount, a small amount, they give it to you. Then you have receipts from the membership fees that you're going to collect for your club. Then any other receipts, maybe you want to do a YLP for the youth, the youth leadership program, and you collected some money, but there will be expenses against the YLP. Remember, this is not a you, you, the intention is not to make huge profits on uh, these kind of programs. There will be expenses. Maybe you buy from the TI some trophies and uh, ribbons and some pins to give it to them or some pens which you want to give as a gift to these people. So those expenses also you need to take care. But it has to get accounted separately so that you're able to keep track. Then your major payments is, your major payment will, there'll be two major payments. One is your membership fees to TI. And in case you have meeting expenses, for instance, you meet in a hotel. Maybe it is uh, per meeting. If you have one meeting or two meetings, you'll have expenses. Then you have trophies and ribbons and pins, which you want to buy for your club from the TI or from any other shop that you're getting. Again, following the brand manuals, uh, branding uh, uh, protocols. And then you, as a club want to still continue on a hybrid mode, it's possible. So you go in for a Zoom subscription and then any other expense that you have, which doesn't fall under uh, this can be put in that. And then you have a balance. Now, if you see it as A plus B minus C, 
if you make the budget in this format, try to put against it what you spent. This is it. Your, your job is done for as a club treasurer. Okay. Now you have your responsibilities. So how do you fulfill your responsibilities? Now we have finished the role, role part, and then we have also finished what you will, what responsibilities you will take. Now let us see how do you come, uh, how do you fulfill your responsibilities basically? How will you fulfill this responsibility? Any ideas? I do have some people raise their hands. We will come to that. I will. We will take the question answers. I'm, I'm almost done at the end of the presentation, so we will have some interaction. Uh, how do you think you will fulfill the responsibility? Any ideas from members who have already been treasurers before? Um, I think Toastmaster Navina, I think you've been asked to share the, uh, the link to for the uh, attendance. Please go ahead to share. Toastmaster Navin, you're able to do that. Toastmaster Navin, did he share the presentation, uh, the link? Yeah, I yeah, think it's there in the chat. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's there in the chat. Thank you. Now, the question is, how will you fill up your, fulfill your responsibility will be, you need to ensure that you know what exactly your role demands, right? You know that you are supposed to collect the amount that as it is required and remit, that will be your major role, but you also, the other things that we just discussed, the small things like, uh, you know, ensure that it is paid on time so that you don't get into other kind of complication. Now, when will each action be completed? We did give you the deadlines. When, with, uh, when will it be completed? Budget is something that you will have to sit with your committee right now and maybe you are your president or your internally, you just come up with the plan when you will uh, complete your budget and always ensure that you know what is the cash that you have on hand so that you do not, uh, you do not scramble. You do not know where, what your financial position is. It's always better to be in, in control of the cash that you have. And who is available to help you? Your executive committee is the best people who can help you out, your previous uh, treasurer who can help you out, your previous immediate past president can help you out. Otherwise, we are always there, the district, the division of the area people who, who can actually help you out to understand this role if you really think you need. And what materials and resources you can use? Of course, there's a lot of TI material which is available for the treasurer. If you go to the club, I really suggest that you all go to the club central. I mean, after this, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe next week, and actually read up on your role. It actually gives you a good insight. I hope this presentation has been helpful for at least the newcomers. And we will come to the questions in case you do have uh, anything so that uh, we can understand much better this role in case it has not been clear till now. Yes. Now to understand what are the resources, let us come to the resources. Let, let us first see the checklist. What is it that you all have to do first immediately after this meeting? Actually, you have done the first thing already. You have attended the court. Congratulations. Which means that you have actually done the first step. You are done with today's first step then you have to read materials, which as I told you, some of the materials can give you more in-depth understanding of your role, but it will be a simple same thing what I have already covered for you most of it. Ensure that you meet with your outgoing executive committee because you need to know what is the cash that you have on hand. Meet especially with the outgoing treasurer and meet with the current executive committee so that you can do the club success plan along with them and know what is the treasurer's role in your club. In some clubs, it's very easy. In some clubs, if, it are, if they are bigger clubs, then it might be a little difficult. Now you may have to review if there are anything specific in your uh, club which requires that these, have, these protocols are followed, please ensure that you follow and also the TI policies and protocols. You will have to get to the club central to understand and read up all the materials. And 
you have to prepare the budget. So you just know if your previous treasurer already has a format, if he can help you out, I think that's the best thing. Otherwise, I've just showed you a very simplistic format which will help you as a treasurer. And you have to keep track of the records, the financial reports, and in case you have an audit committee. This is something which I don't believe any of the clubs have, at least on this floor, but if there is any anybody having it, that is still fine. You have to provide a signatory to the bank. You are the record keeper of your club, just remember that. And these are the various resources that we have that is available for the club so that you can actually go through the various resources that are available for you to actually understand and go up with the role. I will now stop sharing the screen so that we can take the questions. I have a few people who had raised. Semin, Toastmaster Semin, you still have a question. Please go ahead. Uh, where can be available these materials you mentioned? These are available on the Club Central if you go and uh, it is available on the TI. I think I just now showed you the additional resources slide, right? Even this presentation is available on the website, but I think two or three slides might not be. The one which I showed on the budget is not available. The one which uh, I showed on the amount that is to be paid or from the Toastmasters, that is not available. Otherwise, this whole presentation as is, is available on the website, uh, on the a TI website, and I sincerely suggest go to the club central. See, from today onwards, you must be having access. Log into the TI website and go to the club central. Click on your uh, click click on the club central, and then you will have a lot of material which gives you a good understanding of the role as well. Uh, Toastmaster, is, is it is it required we have to submit our report to TI or only yeah. for our club? No, you have to submit to your, uh, there is no requirement as such to submit it to the TI. Uh, but I suggest that, you know, you have, it's a good practice that you present your, the, the format which I showed you, the budget was is actual to your club, at least once it's, in a quarter. It's a it's good a report practice. report is an annual report, right? Or uh, interim? Report. That I showed it as an annual report. You can do it quarterly also and, and say, tell that, you know, this is the amount we have. This is what we spent. So that um, usually it's a good practice to share it with the other members of the club so that they know where we stand uh, as a treasurer, uh, what, is, um, what is the funding that is available in the club for any other activity that you want to do. Maybe you want to do an open house. Probably okay. somebody in the previous term, they had enough uh, sponsorship and they, and they were able to uh, gather enough uh, cash and they were able to uh, go ahead to have that kind of funding. But this, with the present condition, you might not have that much cash, but you're able to pull through an open house because you still have, a, a, I haven't received any acknowledgement as record. What is the acknowledgement you're waiting for uh, Treasurer uh, Saravanan? I don't know. The funding means we can, the resources, where can we find then we can uh, do the, sponsor, uh, take the sponsorship and all, or the public uh, or uh, only membership? No, typically it mostly it will be the membership uh, money that is collected. But if your club, you see, when you do a club success plan, your maybe your VPP or somebody comes up and says, I want to do a specific event to increase the membership. Okay, then maybe you collect, you manage to collect some uh, sponsors or maybe you don't have, but since you have uh, cash a little bit extra on your hand, see, in the previous two years, not many of us met and had physical meetings, but maybe your club still continued collecting the same amount like previously. So you would still have extra amount because you did not expend it, right? Yeah. So that can still be used for uh, an activity to increase your club membership. That's one choice or uh, activity which will help the club grow. That's another uh, choice. Or maybe you want to do a uh, uh, help somebody do an HPL event. Maybe somebody wants to do a tall tale contest or any other contest under your club name. So that also is uh, uh, possible. Okay, thank you. And um, I think uh, Nidhi, Toastmaster Nidhi. 
Uh, yeah, I have a quick question here regarding the fees, actually. So you said that there is, uh, we need to pay $45 for uh, the renewal of the members. So suppose a club has 15 members and there is another club which has 20 members. So both the clubs will end up paying $45 to the TI? Per, per member. $45 per so member. For, Sorry, I should have mentioned that. My mistake. $45 per member. Okay, so for renewal, it is $45 per, per member, member for the existing for the existing members. Yes. And for any new member which comes in, we have to pay $20 okay, one time. Uh, individually. It's a one-time payment. Huh? Again, $20 is a yeah. one-time payment. That's it. For six months. No, no. $20 is not for six months. It's a one-time payment. It's like a joining fee. Okay, it's like registration for the first yes, time. It's like registration. Let's say it's like registration, though they don't call it as registration, they call it as a one time fee or a joining fee. That is only, that is $20. See, when you put in the details of new member, it automatically comes up there. I'm just telling mm -hmm. so that you will know how much to collect from a new member. Okay, so $45 for the renewal goes for six months and yes. $20 goes as a registration for a new member. For a new member, say you already have, okay. let's assume that you have 10 members in your club. So you're going to pay 45 into 10 for those people and a new member joined in say on the 1st of October. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you pay $45 plus $20. See, TI already, already does a calculation. You don't have to do anything. The moment you go there, it will show this much to pay. Okay. Okay, that's okay. my question. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because the reason why I gave so that information, which is not in the presentation, is so that as a treasurer, you know what to do. You must yeah. know what is the amount that is to be paid. But let me tell you that's only paid. Again, please differentiate what you need to collect from the members might be different. Yeah, I've got that. Yes. Got that. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Somebody else, any more questions that we have? Anybody else? Yes, uh, Tosma, uh, Nidhi, yeah, I think how do you we... have your hand up. And uh, Walsalan. Yes. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, yeah, can you uh, explain uh, this uh, dual membership, not dual membership? Uh, one person is a, a mem member of uh, other club also. Yes. How much Toastmasters International fee? You just uh, tell me there is some material or something, or pathways or something, you know? No. Just can you explain that? Yeah, see, if there is... Uh, TI does not care, honestly speaking, whether you are a member in two clubs, three clubs, you have to pay $45 per club, per club, per member, okay? So whether you are a member in 10 clubs, you pay to the club, right? Even if you are a dual member. Well, uh, Toastmaster Walsall, I, I might be a member here in, I'm a member here now in Vision Advanced, okay? Vision Advanced, Toast, uh, Toastmaster, I'm a member. I'm, I have to still pay the fees for Vision Advanced, what I have to pay, and I have to pay the fees to any other club I'm a member of. Dual membership, the only advantage is you don't pay the $20. The one-time joining fees, you don't pay. Otherwise, it is as if you have to pay to each club. Each club will collect the membership on their own. Okay, they have to pay to TMA also. Yes, yes. You have to pay to the TMI. They don't pay. As a treasurer, you collect and you pay to the TMI. If a person is a dual member, it is not your problem to worry whether he's paid the other club or not. You, your only concern is whether he's paying your club and you pay your club fees. Okay, ma'am. Okay. One, one more thing. Can you, please, yeah. Yeah. Can you please share this uh, presentation to everybody or we have to collect it from TMI? No, no. This presentation is already available for uh, easily on the website. If you go to the club no, center, what? it's available. Yeah, what I am talking, you are uh, prepared with some other slides, no? some uh, extra Undo slides. slides. Okay, I, I yeah. will just put that uh, Excel one. I will share that okay. Excel. Uh, the Thank you. Thank you. Because that will that will be helpful. Okay, I, I mean, at the end of this, I will uh, share it. Thank I have you. somebody, Hindi T Toastmaster. Yes. Toastmaster. Yeah, Hindi Treasurer. Prab yeah, I am Prabodh Rao yes. from Hindi, Hindi Toastmaster. This is the first Hindi, Pratham Hindi Toastmaster Club which start, got chartered in the month of May. And uh, Mr. Nagendran was uh, very courteous enough to give us a lot of insights. Uh, I have a question, actually. I had gone to the central leadership. I had to add two new members. Mm -hmm. So once I go to the central uh, leadership central, from there, where I had to go? You will have to click on the leadership central. I need to see exactly how it is. You'll have to start navigating and can you, can, you can, can the IT moderator allow me to share the screen? 
you like to click I on add it. new add membership um, that's it no it's not will, there uh, tosmas can we just wait can if there are any uh, no other questions we can take this because this you'll be you'll be sharing and you'll be you know showing i'll make an online payment can. also when that can because i want to make some payment yeah, if you can just you can take hold it on, but did you add the details of the uh, of the new um, member already? Pardon? Yeah, I have did the details. Did you add the mind. details of the new member already? No, I I don't know first where to add it. That's the problem. The actually when I selected leadership central, I went mm -hmm. to club central, right? Right. From club central, it is showing select membership only for payment. That's all it's showing, and the new member uh, somehow I'm not able to see. You will have to add a new member first. But where I had to add it, that's the uh, problem. Uh, I want, uh, can I come in? I want to ask you one question. Are you any club officer now? Yeah, yeah I'm a treasurer for last term. No, no, I'm a treasurer. Are you a club officer now? now. now yeah, yeah, I'm a club officer. I'm a club okay. officer. Okay, it may. I don't know. We have to check whether Club Central is enabled today. Today is the first. So it, was, it is Normally, it was enabled for me. Enabled. But. Uh, yeah. For me, uh, morning uh, I checked some reports were not showing. So yes. maybe I am not. It is updated as per 29 June. Yeah. So once it is done, you may get everything. I feel so. Yeah. No, I think it was showing for last day before yesterday. I just waited for first of uh, thing to happen in US so okay. I can pay. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, so I'll wait I'll... for a day or two. And if you are not able to, please do get in touch with uh, oh. me. I'll, I'll try to help you out. Okay. One sure. Oh. Uh, any other open. questions that we have? Any other questions or any other uh, any other questions? Yes, there is something. Yeah, which I, I have, have a question. I have a yes, question here. In case yes. we have to get in touch with you, what is the best way? Do we have an email ID of you, or how do we get in yes. touch? With you? If you want, you can just call me or uh, Nidhi. Where are you from? You're from Bahrain. I, I'm from Bahrain, but I'm very new to Toastmasters. I joined yes, around. Uh, I, I'll give you. I'll put in my number. It's not too difficult to find people in Bahrain. Trust me. It's okay. Very easy. I will share my email ID. Please, please feel free. To okay. call or I'll try to help out uh, wherever I can. That much I can okay. tell you. And uh, I would like to tell something from my personal experience, which I gained. See, my very first leadership role that I took up in Postmasters was treasurer because I thought that would be the easiest. Because well, I I thought I would find it quite easy. But for me, what was what I really learned was when there. The club which I had was Manama Toastmasters, and you had a huge club base. I think around 60 members were there at that point of time, which means imagine not all members come to the club and you do not know all the members. But when I took up this role, I ensured that I called up, I spoke to all the members, and I told if, especially members who don't come are the members who will not pay you, right? So use this as an opportunity to, to call them up to speak to them and ask them why you're not coming. Because imagine if you were a member who was not turning up and the treasurer calls or somebody from the club calls, you will feel happy at the end of the day that somebody has called. I think with that, we'll actually be taking care of three things. What uh, DTM uh, Khalid Abdullah today was uh, telling us about uh, commitment, consistency, and care. You are a committed treasurer and you consistently call people and show them that you care, I think you would have actually accomplished in your own ways what our district director wanted actually for us to do. And um, this is what I think is the crux of a treasurer. You are an accountant, just, just remember that you are, play a very important role because you are somebody who's gonna pay the TI fees in time, just ensure. Or if you have any other uh, things, please do feel free to call or um, call us, reach out to us so that you know people who are there can surely help you. Okay, we are here to help. Any other questions or everybody has filled up the form? All, uh, all yes. have attended, yeah. Now I just thought I will just, uh, somebody wanted the, I will just share the Excel sheet. Okay, I have just shared my email ID also. I will share in case.
ini lagi kok dan that's my mobile number not too difficult to get in barin you will ask there will be somebody who will have this number so in case you have any issues anything that is that's not very clear let's have a chat and anything else that the people who have already been treasurers can uh, give some sight which you felt was unique and which was not covered in the presentation yes postmaster nagendra no i just wanted to share something is say for example we were talking about club finances mm -hmm. and in the presentation it says you have to mention whether the club is how much cash is there in the club things mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. in a general meeting mm -hmm. when guests are there somebody else are there mm -hmm. if in the club officers report in the business session if you start gave the amount of that you have in the club mm. it may trigger some antenna so i my recommendation is not to say what is you can just say the club is in good financial position and it's fine and share the amount in your whatsapp group only so that they will know what the finances are so this is my recommendation your whatsapp group is more uh, this thing somebody can take a screenshot so you need to be careful but what i suggest is please do share it with your executive committee members it's very important that they know how how the things are going at least once a year present it to your club yeah. at least they will know where you stand because there is suddenly going to the club and say oh we are out of finances we don't have unless until the members pay something else has to happen you are planning for something big then it will become a problem and having too much of cash on hand let me tell you is not a good idea because after a few years what will you do with the cash you will have to spend it in the best possible manner which will actually help in achieving the club mission itself that is the idea of toastmaster it is not to make money and do something uh, else that's sure. never the idea in fact if you really have um, Uh, cash usually what happens is this is something which i have not mentioned it in the presentation but you have sometimes for the past two years we didn't have any physical meeting say for instance area is going to conduct an area contest where will area get the money from if they don't have even if the area gets sponsorship where will they get it usually they depend on the clubs in fact even division sometimes depend on the areas and the clubs to give some kind of an amount to them so that you know they can conduct a, a proper mm -hmm. division and the area contest so these are things which you uh, you need to ensure as a treasurer you know that you speak to your club you have please ensure that you put it in your club's uh, budget as well if they have not done it last year doesn't mean this year maybe you will have physical contest there is possibility so you may have to ensure that you cover that particular budget part anybody else any any other thoughts any other uh, um. is that is it compulsory that the ex, i mean the treasurer has to save some money for the next excom no there is no uh, reason because if you're uh, unless and until there is something to be paid say for instance you are meeting in a hotel okay because you're going to collect the amount in advance say for instance your term finishes in uh, in uh, in june but you have an a bill of june which subsequently gets paid but you have not left any money for the club then it becomes difficult right that is okay. the reason why you should ensure that there is some amount and whatever expenses are they try to pay it off immediately and keep track i mean the excel sheet is an easier and a simplest way it's just in and out so you could just uh, if it's a huge if it's a big club with 70 80 members then it's a different thing but A smaller clubs it should not be a difficult uh, task if you do it on a regular basis instead of doing it i suggest that please do it regularly maybe i do not know whether you should do it uh, bi weekly or uh, uh, twice in a month or maybe monthly so that by the end of the year you know you are very clear you know this is what it is and this is what we yeah. have and yeah. try to ensure that you don't put in your cash not advisable that i think somebody asked a question should we pay for the members if Ten members pay, and one member does not pay. It is not fair on the other members that you ask them to, you know, bear that member's cost. Just ensure that all these are taken care, and anything 
of um, the amount, please ensure that there is an approval from the club. Please ensure that in case you're increasing the fees or decreasing the fees, just let the members know that it's better that you put it in the XCOM and then if you take it in the, the club's approval, it's very important. And that it is minuted, at least at some point of time, because tomorrow there is no other uh, confusion sure. that comes up. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Anything else? Hi, ma'am. Uh, good evening. Uh, myself, Nikita from Keen Photos Master. Yes, uh, Ma'am, uh, I'm newly uh, I'm newly joined to the Toastmaster and I'm a new uh, treasurer as well. So just want to ask you like um, the Excel sheet or the you know the financial uh, you know status or report what we are preparing for a year time. Do we have to upload it in the uh, no. TI? No. no, no, there is no requirement from the club to do anything other than collect the money and pay. But I just gave that uh, Excel sheet to make your life easy. Nobody gave it to me. Okay. I just did it. It's a very simple format so that it makes uh, the new treasurer's life easy. That's all. Okay. Not, to, uh, not for anything. Uh, submission. Okay. okay. No need for submission. No need to submit any uh, details. But just ensure that you keep your funding in a good uh, I think the attendance uh, form has already been put in the chat. There is one last question, ma'am. Yes. Uh, for my club, which was started in uh, May, uh, rather June, uh, there is a the fees structure it is showing is from March to October. And from November to March, it is showing. November to March. Yes. Uh, I could open it and it is showing November to March. Uh, for a new club, yes. actually, I, I'll answer that. For a new club, generally, Toastmaster International will take for six months, whatever it is. So you, since you started in May, it would be up to now. So September also is in, October is also included. Ah, for the first time. So which means they yeah, will take it time. for the six months. Yeah, okay. Six months. Yes. But again, when I'm adding a new member in this new uh, club, now it is showing as the fees as from July to September. Yes. That's yes. a new member. Because That's a new member. July, no? First of July to September. See? New member, it's always from the day when you take them. But okay. the first one, what you're telling is when the club was chartered. Here I, want, here I want to add one point. Suppose new member is joining on July 25th. Don't register him on July 25th yes. because it will take one full month. So yes. just add in August because you will lose money for five days. Yes. You will not be having meetings yeah, also. Yeah. That's, that's what until, I... See, it is possible that the member himself wants it from July. Sometimes they say, okay, I attended three meetings continuously. Maybe they attended already five, six meetings and the person paid only in July. He, he attended all the meetings in June, then in July, but he just paid you the fees only in July. And you can still register him from 1st of July. I mean, that's, that's the member's uh, choice also. Maybe they want to do that. So just take into account what, what the member wants. So ensure that, you know, it is in the best interest of the member as well as the club. And the club doesn't lose. Yeah, because if member is paid you from August to October you, or September, you register in July, that one month club has deficit club has to pay because immediately your club center will calculate from that month, July month. So you, as a, you have to be very clear which month member wants to join and which month member is paying. Yeah, yes, very true. Anything else or can we just uh, close the session? Any other questions? I've anyway given you my email ID, my phone number, anything that you want, please do feel free. Otherwise, it's not a difficult uh, country to trace a person. You can always uh, find somebody who can, who can help you out, surely, uh, on the ground. And uh, as I told you that, um, you know, knowledge speaks, wisdom listens, and I just hope you all have become a little bit more wiser with this uh, session. And thanks a lot to all of you, I mean, I think most of them have stayed back to the end. I hope it has been informative and will help you in your treasure role. All the best to you and uh, thank you. Madam Presenter, let us you. confirm or ensure that all the attend uh, participants are filled the attendance form. Yes. I no, I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't get the form. Can you just share once more? 
Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Once again, it was a wonderful session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Shubhashree. Thank you. Just to share the attendance form once again. Please check whoever not fill the form. Please check and fill the form. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Master Navina. I am. Am I supposed to fill up the form also? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not doing it, so I don't think whatever. so. Whatever. Are you are you yeah. serving us, Atrisha, this term? No, I'm not. <laughs> I am the district finance manager, so that does not. That I don't know whether I no, should. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> you are having the privilege to not to fill the form, so <laughs> this is only for the. No, I am the VP head for uh, Vision Advance, so I just hope. Ah, okay. Able. Then uh, obviously you have to fill it. <laughs> should I fill it up? Yes, yes, absolutely. Let me fill up the form. Yeah. You put up the uh, feedback form also, right? Um, yes. Okay. I'll share it again, the feedback form. Stop the recording. 